This video is going to take us from Google to ufile.ca, and then once in ufile, we're going to create a new user account. In the Google search bar, enter in ufile.ca. The first link that comes up, drtax.ca slash ufile, we want to click this link. You're going to notice in the top right hand corner, it's going to say sign in here. Click this link, this is going to take us to the sign in page. Um, for most students, you're going to be, we're going to be starting a new account, but for some, you might have used ufile in the past. By all means, sign in now. But again, we're going to assume that you're a new user to ufile. Most students, uh, we're going to be filing for the previous tax year. That's 2013. Some students, you might not have filed in 2012 or 2011. Even further back, maybe. If that's the case, we want to go down to the first year that we haven't entered. So, for example, 2010 or 2011. From there, create an account, fill out that tax return, and then carry your account forward. So once you're done your tax return, you're going to log out and then sign in in a new year. But we're going to assume that we're signing in in the year 2013. For usernames, I'm going to recommend you enter a pass or you're going to enter an email address. The reason being is you're probably not going to use ufile between this year and next year, so you're probably going to forget a username. Before proceeding, you have to click the box saying I agree with the terms and conditions in this license agreement. By all means, read the terms and conditions. Click create account. So all this is doing is this is setting up a secondary email address if you um, if you forget the your information to log into your primary account. Um, it is an added bonus by all means if you feel like you need to enter it go for it if not you can just press the next page once you enter security question let's say Dustin okay so now our accounts created and then click on start preparing your tax return and that'll be the second one of our videos